Hello friends. So welcome again to another session on number systems. So uh, so far we have studied rational numbers, and uh, before that we also learned different types of numbers like natural numbers. We talked about natural numbers. We talked about whole numbers. We also talked about integers, and then we saw rational numbers. Rational numbers. Isn't it rational numbers? And and we also uh, understood one thing that all these numbers were developed one after the other, and every time there was a need need of a new set of new set of numbers, new set of numbers, isn't it? So we knew that a smaller number cannot uh, subtract a bigger number. Hence, we had. Uh, the use of integers, and then we also knew that two equal numbers, two equal natural numbers, if they are subtracted, we needed uh, a new number because uh, five minus five, for example, in natural numbers didn't have a solution. But hence, the moment we had set of whole numbers, that is, once zero was included, then we could do five minus five, six minus six, and so on and so forth. Similarly, uh, three minus five was not defined in the set of whole numbers, so then we had to. Formulate a new set of numbers called integers to define such operations. Then we also saw that uh, things like five upon nine, seven upon eight, these are not defined in terms of integers. That means division was not allowed in integers for all given integers. So hence, we figured out another set of numbers called rational numbers. And here we observe two types of rational numbers whose decimal representation was either terminating. So we say the decimal representation was either terminating, isn't it? If you recall, terminating as in let us say one by two was nothing but zero point five, and the other 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 example or other type was non-terminating, non-terminating, non-terminating. But we had repeating, repeating or recurring decimal representation. For example, one by three was given as zero point. Three, 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 so on and so forth. And formally, rational numbers were defined as p upon q. The numbers which can be expressed in p upon in the form of p upon q. P and q belongs to the set of integers, right? And q was not equal to zero. And then another one was GCD of p and q. GCD or else HCF of p and q was one. these were the criteria for defining rational numbers today we are going to understand what are irrational numbers right so you know uh, what if what if the what if the decimal representation do not terminate as well as do not represent uh, repeat okay so let us understand such kind of number before that let us take a problem statement let me say i have a I have a square plot, square plot, and I have square plot of unit one as side. Okay, so the side length is one. Now the question is, I want to fence the diagonal. I want to fence the diagonal. Okay, so hence I go to a hardware shop and I ask the hardware shopkeeper to give me a wire of a uh, wire such that I could fence the Diagonal of my field. Then the shopkeeper asks me to give me the length of the diagonal. Then I said, "Okay, let me calculate the diagonal." So hence, uh, I know that by Pythagoras theorem, I have let us say this is x. So hence, x square will be one square plus one square. That is two. So there must be a number x such that when it multiplies. when i multiply it, uh, itself with uh, when i multiply the number with itself i should get 2 that's what my challenge was now i thought what could be this type of number how to find out this what is the value of x what is the value of x which when multiplied by itself i will get 2 so to answer this uh, what i did was i started doing some trial and error so i i knew 1 so i multiplied 1 by 1 to get Result one, but one is less than two, so that means I can clearly say that one is definitely not the square root. Then I took two, right? 
2 as value of x. But when 2 is multiplied by 2 itself, it gets it gives you 4. So that means the number x lies between 1 and 2 clearly. Why? Because 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4. So hence x square lies between 1 and 4. Now I also knew rational numbers, isn't it? So let me just try to find out what if I take x is equals to 1.5. Okay. So x equals to 1.5. So x square, x square x square i am writing it here if x is equal to 1.5 so x square will be 2.25 okay which is greater than 2 so hence x is not 1.5 so let me try x is equal to 1.4 so x square will be 1.96 which is less than 2 that means again the square lies between these two numbers so let me take x is equal to 1.45 now, if you see x equals to 1.45, the square is 2.1025. So, if you see x square is 2.1025, which is again greater than 2. So, x equals to 1.45 is also not the solution. So, let me take now, let me take a value which is lesser than, slightly lesser than this. So, let me take 1.42. So, if you take x equals to 1.42, right? Now, I have to find out the square of 1.42. So, if you see, x square in this case will be 2.0164. But, unfortunately, this is also greater than 2. So, we have still not been able to find out the exact square root of 2. So, we can keep on the journey. And hence, let us say 1.41. Let us try this now. So, if you see 1.41 square is 1.9881. My God. Now, again, it, it went down. Right? Went down to 2. Uh, below 2. So, hence, again, we have the other uh, value of x was 1.42. This is 1.41. So, let us take, let me take a middle value again. 1.41. 5. So, if you see 1.415 square is beautiful. If you see this is 2.002225. But again, it is closer to 2 but still it is more than 2. That means the square root of x is less than uh, square root of 2 is less than 1.415. So, hence what else? So, let us say I am taking 1.414. Okay. So if I do that, then the square root is 1, or oh, sorry, square is 1.999396. Right. Again, unfortunately, we are not able to strike the real square root. So, which is again, you know, uh, it is less than 2. So if you keep on doing the process, Actually, it was later on discovered that this process never ends. So, however close you try to uh, find out the square root of 2, you will never be able to, you will never be able to find exactly uh, the number which when multiplied by itself will give you 2. So, a uh, simple calculator, uh, you know, square rooting will give you root of 2, which is now expressed as root 2. Root 2 is nothing but the value of x which when multiplied by itself will give you 2 is being found out to be 1.414213562 and so on and so forth okay so the observation here is if you if you notice carefully none of the digits are repeating there is no pattern right so what do we conclude there is no pattern or repetition no pattern no repetition isn't it no repetition so this is the this is a new new thing which we have now discovered still so far we were seeing there were two types of digit decimal representation of any number one was so what was it one was uh, terminating decimals right terminating terminating decimals and then the other one was the other one was non terminating so it was not terminating for sure non terminating but it was repeating the digits used to repeat after a point in 
after point for example 1.313131 like that so on and so forth right 1.3333 it is nothing but if you see this is um so this goes on isn't it so this is nothing but 4 upon 3 right 4.3 is like that but now we are getting a new case which is non terminating non terminating as well as as well as as well as non repeating non repeating non repeating so these kind of numbers were later on termed as irrational so this these time these kind of numbers whose decimal representation are non terminating and non repeating are called irrational numbers irrational numbers why irrational because during that point nine point in history when people were trying people were trying to find out root 2 they could never find a number which when multiplied by itself would get you 2 so people were a little you know startled they were confused that how can there be a number uh, uh, so you, they are not able to find a number which when multiplied to itself will fetch you 2 so it was it was appearing to be a unreasonable thing to them hence they called it irrational numbers call them irrational numbers so they were not trying they were not able to find out uh, to a reasonable extent how you know how to calculate such numbers so hence the, the term given to those type of numbers was irrational so there was no reason why such numbers existed so hence the term irrational numbers okay so another examples of examples of uh, irrational numbers are if you take a prime and take a square root of it you will get any rational number like root 3 root 4 and anything sorry not root 4 i'm sorry root 5 and anything which is not a perfect square like root 6 root 8 root 10 all are all are irrational numbers all are irrational numbers if you now try to find out one number which when multiplied to itself would which fetch you 3 5 6 8 and 10 etc you will never find one right so such numbers are called irrational numbers okay and uh, another definition or in other words you can call irrational number like this so those those numbers 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 which are which are real so we will we'll discuss in in some time what are real numbers so uh, numbers which are real but not rational but not rational are called irrational understood number which are not real numbers which are not rational numbers are called irrational numbers irrational numbers right so now we define another set of numbers which is called real numbers so real numbers are real numbers are numbers numbers which are either which are either rational rational or irrational so set of set of real numbers is denoted by r and r is nothing but set is a sum of set of this is equal to i that is irrational plus q which is rational right this is our definition of real numbers